Medicare is good insurance coverage, but it does not cover everything. There's seven specific items that are not going to be covered by Medicare. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what those are and what your best shot will be to get those items covered. So let's look at the details of these seven items that are not covered by Medicare. Number one that's not covered would be preventive eye exams, preventive eye exams. Now keep in mind, uh, if it's a medically necessary eye exam, then that would be covered. But as far as preventive eye exam, which means uh, you believe your eyes are healthy, uh, you go to the doctor and just want to make sure, that's a preventive eye exam, that's not going to be covered uh, by Original Medicare. Now, if you go to the doctor and you're saying, Doc, I'm having some vision problems, I'm seeing some floaties, well, that's an eye exam that's medically necessary and that most certainly uh, is going to be covered. Uh, but again, the preventive will not be. Now, the exception to this would be if you are a diabetic. diabetic Diabetics get two preventive eye exams a year because uh, those are really medically necessary to make sure they know exactly uh, if there has there been any effect uh, on your eyes from your diabetes. So those would be covered. But as a general rule, we have no preventive eye exams. And so if it's honest and you're seeing floaties, you're having vision problems, you can't get an eye exam covered by Medicare because then it's medically necessary. Now, the way to get that covered would be if you decide to stay in original Medicare A and B, you actually can buy vision plans. And those vision plans, uh, typically give you either a zero or a very reduced cost for for an eye exam and they also will give you some type of a credit towards eyewear and again those plans are called standalone plans and they range anywhere from about 10 to about 15 dollars a month and again you got to keep in mind when it comes to medicare coverage there are they're going to cover all the big items glaucoma and cataracts and uh, wet macular degeneration those kinds of things are covered by medicare a and b very well just not the preventive eye exam so if you want additional coverage you can buy a standalone um, uh, vision plan or uh, some of the advantage plans uh, will actually include a preventive eye exam as well as credit towards eyewear all right so that's something though original medicare is not going to cover hey just real quick before we get to the next part of the video i just want to remind you to like subscribe or put a comment there in the section below and ask any questions that you would like us to address and then just one more thing you'll find down below in the description uh, there's some links there where you actually can schedule an appointment to talk to one of our medicare guides so if you need further advice look at all your options uh, we'd be happy to help with that as well now the second item not covered by medicare original medicare a and b will be hearing exams and hearing aids now again, just like the vision, if there's medically uh, necessary issues going on with the inner ear and different things happening to the ear, uh, you're certainly going to be able to get um, uh, original Medicare to cover that. But just when it comes to a general hearing test or hearing aids that you need uh, to help with your hearing, then original Medicare is not going to cover that. All right, now there are some Advantage plans that will actually give you uh, a benefit. They will put together a network of, of uh, providers certain hearing aids that they will cover and um, uh, those hearing aids covered are going to have some type of copay it could be $300 copay and they pay the rest or $700 copay for more uh, uh, more of a uh, fancy uh, hearing aid but the point is uh, they have copays for those and you can get a plan that would actually cover those with you having to pay a small copay now Medicare has talked about adding some additional benefits uh, uh, in original Medicare for hearing but uh, that has not happened yet and so you also can buy separate plans uh, that will actually cover dental vision hearing and you have a, a combination plan that could get hearing aids covered but the whole point is original Medicare is not going to cover uh, those items that are going to relate to uh, hearing. Okay, again, other disease of the ear, inner ear, those kinds of things, uh, certainly covered by Medicare. And then that takes us to number three, item not covered by Medicare, and that's going to be dental. So when it comes to extractions and fillings and root canals and crowns and those kind of things, Medicare is not going to cover uh, dental. Now, if it's something serious, in fact, I had a situation just recently where a gentleman went through radiation and uh, he lost his teeth as a result of that. Medicare is going to participate in that particular situation. Why? Because it's medically necessary. But for things that are just our ongoing dental needs that we have, you're not going to get that uh, as part of your Medicare coverage. And so what happens is you actually can buy standard standalone dental plans. Uh, 
Uh, these dental plans normally cover you for about $1,500 to maybe $2,500 a year uh, in benefit. Um, uh, sometimes you got to make sure that uh, you're going to a dentist that takes the plan, uh, that they're going to be in the network, but these plans are available to you. And again, they're going to vary throughout the country, but as a general rule, these are going to cost anywhere from about $30 to $40 a month. Okay, it's a true dental plan, and it's going to cover those items. Uh, major UZ uh, services are covered at 50-50. Uh, the other minor services are usually covered about 80-20, and most of them will give you a couple cleanings a year at no cost to you. And so you can buy dental coverage where original Medicare is not going to cover you, or you actually can get an Advantage plan, and those Advantage plans are going to typically have some type of a dental benefit. I wouldn't call it a full-blown plan because usually the benefit's about $1,000 a year, uh, and it will cover services up to that um, uh, amount, and then a lot of those plans also require you going to a, a network dentist. But again, they're going to add that as part of the plan original Medicare will not. And then that brings us to number four item not covered by Medicare, and that would be what we refer to as a routine physical exam. Okay. Now, those of you that have been covered by group plans or individual plan, as part of your preventive, you usually had a routine physical exam. You could see your doctor and they'd have a thorough checkup. Uh, using would include some, uh, some labs, maybe some of the tests. But when you go on Medicare, it's not going to work that way. Medicare does not cover routine phys physical exams. Now, they do cover some preventive, but it is limited. Your first year on Medicare, you have what's called a welcome to Medicare exam. The doctor spends a little bit more time, is a little bit more thorough on this, uh, but again, they're not going to run any labs or any tests during that welcome to Medicare exam. And then after that, it's even less because every year then you qualify for what is called an, an annual wellness visit. And again, they're going to check your uh, height and your weight, uh, check your blood pressure, and talk to you about any things that may be going on. But that's really the extent of that. All right. And so when you go on Medicare, you're not going to have those routine physical exams. Now, there are some Advantage plans that actually will give you um, a, a wellness exam that's a little bit more extensive and they will actually cover that at no cost. But again, original Medicare is not going to uh, make that a part of their coverage. Now, number five has to do with chiropractic services. So when you go to your chiropractor, we have very limited services when it comes to chiropractic care. Uh, there's no maintenance chiropractic care. So if you like to go to your chiropractor just to get a maintenance adjustment every month or so, Medicare is not going to cover that. Now, they will cover two items when it comes to chiropractic care. They will cover um, uh, adjustments, but it has to be related to some type of an acute uh, type of, of care. In other words, it's something that is uh, serious and there's certain things going on. The doctor uh, has to uh, medically verify that. Then Medicare will pay for some adjustments uh, to the spine. So we do have some coverage, but again, uh, it's going to have to be medically necessary and there's certain things they're looking for the doctor would have to provide to them to be sure that's going to be a covered service. Also, Medicare will cover some acupuncture. Uh, now, again, the acupuncture is somewhat limited. It's got to be done by a certain uh, credentialed person. Uh, we can have um, uh, no more than a certain amount of treatments. Uh, it's normally about uh, 12 a year, uh, but there's some rules to that. And so you got to uh, make sure you're going to a provider if they take Medicare that they're going to go through those uh, specific rules for coverage when it comes to uh, the adjustments of the spine as well as acupuncture. And so what I want you to realize is as a general rule, we're not going to have a whole lot of chiropractic uh, care that's going to be covered by Medicare. Now, some Advantage plans, as we've seen on some of these other things, will give you some chiropractic care just for manipulation of the spine. You normally have about a $20 or $25 copay, but original Medicare, we're going to be very limited. So if you go to chiropractor and that chiropractor does x-rays or does some kind of other therapy, maybe traction, uh, those kind of things will not be covered by Medicare whatsoever. All right, that takes us then to number six. Now, number six has to do with the nursing home. When someone is in some type of a nursing home, uh, maybe some type of like a long-term care facility, um, and this is uh, someone that because of age or because of some other health issue has been admitted and it's really become their home. And so Medicare does not cover these kinds of things. Now, there is an agency that will cover uh, long-term care 
uh, situations, and that is called Medicaid. Medicaid. Now, in order for Medicaid to, uh, to cover you, there's certain uh, rules. You can only have so much uh, assets, so much income, uh, but Medicaid will cover that. In fact, Medicaid covers that quite well if someone uh, is able to, to qualify financially for that. All right, so no nursing home or long-term care type facilities. Now, Medicare will cover what is called skilled nursing facilities. So with the skilled nursing facility, what this means is this is something that is um, uh, necessary because of rehab. Someone is maybe at a hip replacement or maybe a stroke or an injury or an accident or a fall, and they're going to a skilled nursing facility. And so Medicare will cover that. And again, there's certain rules that apply. Uh, you have to be in the hospital three days prior to going to skilled nursing for them to cover. There also has to be uh, improvement, a very high likelihood of recovery, but this is more like a very intensive rehab. And again, original Medicare will cover that. Um, uh, for you, but no nursing home uh, type or long-term care uh, facilities whatsoever. Okay, and then that brings us to the last one that Medicare will not cover, and that is called foreign travel, foreign travel. So what happens is uh, when someone travels outside the 50 states or outside the U.S. territories, uh, meaning they're beyond Puerto Rico, Guam, Virgin Islands, some of those places, we don't have care outside of the 50 states or the territories. So uh, if you uh, happen to take a fall, in fact, I uh, had a client uh, that got very sick in Ireland, uh, had a bill of $172,000. Medicare didn't pay anything for that. Uh, she happened to be on a supplemental plan. The supplemental plan did give her $50,000 worth of coverage. Uh, for that situation in Ireland, but Medicare paid nothing. Had a situation re recently, a lady fell out of a uh, shower um, uh, a trip to, uh, in Costa Rica. Uh, again, Medicare's not gonna cover her there. And so uh, fortunately she had travel health insurance because they couldn't take care of her in Costa Rica, had to fly her to San Diego. And the uh, emergency flight of air evacuation was about $270,000. And so Medicare is not going to cover you outside the 50 states or outside of those territories. So again, you can get some type of policy travel health insurance to cover air evacuation and other medical expenses uh, while you travel abroad because Medicare is not going to cover those.